Our next question comes in as a live dictation from Ophelia out of Savannah, Georgia. She writes, how do I know that God knows that I have faith in him and I trust him? I am going through difficult financial times, so I have not been able to give my tithe. Does he understand this? Well, uh, again, this becomes important in terms of A, what the Bible says about tithing, and B, what faith is. Faith is based on Scripture. It's based on what God has revealed. And so many times people think, well, you know, tithing is the silver bullet. And if I just tithe, God is going to open the windows of heaven and he's going to bless me and I'll never have another need. Uh, But that's certainly not true. It's not accurate. And certainly when you teach tithing, it needs to be taught in the broader context of all that Scripture reveals about money. Uh, I have a course online. Again, this is at the Institute of Biblical Studies. It's called The Theology of Money. We look first at what the Bible says about stewardship. Then we look at what the Bible says about... So stewardship, let me just pause there. A steward acknowledges that it's not his time, it's not his money, It's not his spiritual gifts, his natural talents, that these are all given by God. And as a steward, we're those who are called to give an account. And so it's required of a steward that one be found faithful, Paul will write. And there's coming a day when our stewardship will be evaluated. We're actually studying that right now on Wednesday nights in a series I'm doing on developing an eternal perspective. And we're looking at the judgment seat of Christ or what sometimes we call the judgment of the just, where each one of us, speaking of believers, will give an account of himself to God. This is not the great white throne judgment where only lost people are present. This is the judgment of believers. And so stewardship evaluates how we have utilized what God has entrusted to us. We look at what the Bible says about debt, what the Bible says about giving, what the Bible says about saving, uh, what the Bible says about investing, what the Bible says about planning. It's a 130-page course that will walk you through a biblical theology. So, for instance, I don't know what got you into this mess where you can't tithe because you're robbing God. I don't know what got you into that mess. Maybe you were borrowing money that you had not yet earned, and that's a common American trait. Um, When you look at the average American family right now is $13,000 in credit card debt. Uh, That's incredible. And when you think about the interest rates that they're charging in the upper 20s, it's costing you a huge amount of money. And basically, when we spend money that we don't have, we're in violation of Scripture. And so, and and again, that's in reference to, uh, you know, what we call everyday needs that we need to trust God for. Uh, When you have a house, you are certainly borrowing money, but it is quite different than borrowing money for a battery or a set of tires or to buy your groceries, Because A, to secure the house, you have to show that you're credit worthy. You have to put a certain percentage down and you agree that if you default on the house, they take your house. But then there's no debt incurred. Uh, Whereas when you make a promise, say, to uh, put something on your credit card and to pay it off, and it should be paid off in full every month. And again, on the course, we discuss how to do that. So if it were me, I would encourage you to tithe. Um, I would encourage you to tithe. If I had to eat hot dogs and spaghetti, I would tithe uh, if I got myself into this mess. If if you had 10 pennies setting in front of you and I asked you, could you give one penny to God? You'd say, of course I could. What's a penny? What if there's 10 $1 bills? I think so. How about if there's 10 $10 bills? Well, yeah, I could do that. How about 10 $100 bills? Well, that's a lot of money, Pastor. No, a tenth is a tenth is a tenth. So even the word tithe, people just use it generically to describe anything that they give to God. So more importantly, this caller from Savannah, you need to develop a theology of money. You need to have a budget. And so we will walk you through first the theology of money, and then we will... There's guys like Dave Ramsey, okay, what they're doing is good. He's a believer, but there's no theological basis for it. I mean, I had one of his books. Maybe he's written more since then, and there was four verses of Scripture in the whole book. And again, he's appealing to a secular audience. That's largely what his radio broadcast is geared towards, so he's not going to pack it with Scripture. 
and we might call it pre-evangelism, uh, and that he'll show, hey, what I'm getting is actually out of the Bible. But if you're trying to help a believer, you need to ground them deeply into Scripture. A, the tithing is even taught. There are people today who say, well, the tithe was just an Old Testament right and has no application for today. I would say that's gross error. And even in a recent sermon I did in the prophet Malachi, I demonstrated that. But you want to learn what the Scripture says about money. You want to get on a budget so that when you get out of debt, you really don't have a plan, Ophelia, until you can tell me when you're going to be out of debt. And that's what this course will do for you. It will help you to think through so far that you'll be able to say, well, I'll be out of debt in March of 2026. That's a plan. That's a plan. And, and of course, we give some ways that will help motivate you to get out of debt. Do you have a, a smartphone? Well, why don't you go to a flip phone? one of those phones you just poke, you'll save a lot of money. Do you have cable? You don't need cable. We could start finding all kinds of leaks in your budget that would help you to begin to pay down that debt faster as you obey the Lord. Anyway, it's a short answer to a big problem, but there's a solution. Again, the theology of money, go to search the scriptures. By the way, those who are listening, if you're not following us and on YouTube, Uh, It would be a big help because there's people like Ophelia, there's people across the nation who are finding us, but they'll find us faster and quicker and be helped if you go to search the scriptures and subscribe to our channel. That will get more people potentially finding our website and learning what God's truth says. And this is important the day we live in where the Bible is being ignored. Dr. Carl Brogy answers your questions about the Bible and living the Christian life Tuesday mornings at 11 on The Light, 88.7 FM, and online around the world at wagp.net.